it changed my whole act. Like, I help people now. My name is Steven. I lived in North Hills my whole life. I'm 18. But mostly, like, I grew up with gangs, you get me? All my older brothers have uncles, my dad, all in gangs. My older brother is in prison whole, his whole life. I talk to him over the phone, and he goes, don't do none of this stuff. Look where I'm at. And look at our uncles. I have three uncles that are dead. They're executed, all three of them. I was just a bad student. I messed up from, from middle school. I was like doing drugs, getting to gangs. There's everything in me, like all went downhill. Because it's just my own. Because my dad passed away for drinking. I think that's what got me in me, like not having a father. I think about my future now. Well, my name is Charles and I'm 21. It was like around 14, like in high school, I dropped out. My mom and my dad had um, recently um, divorced. We needed help at the family, and then, you know, all I knew was to sell drugs too. So all that selling drugs, you know, being from a gang, getting respect, selling all this stuff. It's a family, you know? A lot of people think that a gang is just like, oh, it's just like a group of guys, but it's not because you grew up with them and you know them. My dad really didn't care because, you know, he had his own little thing going on. He's homeless, somewhere in the streets, drinking alcohol, still probably being a bum. That's a Hispanic and living in the neighborhood. That's all I knew, shooting people, you know, doing dry bars. I used to love that stuff. I, I got friends that um now are doing life. And, you know, I still think about them. Big chaos is like murder and stuff, um, attempted murder. So many times I never got caught up or I was never rolling with them at the time that I, they were doing that mission, you know, so I feel lucky. All the guys I grew up with, all they're doing life. Just say you're gonna, you're not, you're not in it no more, cause all, all hell's gonna break loose, man. I'll tell you that right now. You're, if you stay in your neighborhood and, and you say you're not gonna be gangbanging no more, oh man, you're gonna get shot, you're gonna get beat up, you're gonna get stabbed. When you've lost the strength to laugh, and the pain right? Okay, so here, it looks like you're dividing, but we, we don't need to divide. I came here and then. It just changed my life. I feel uh, way want. better now. Way more hope, you know what I mean? Getting my work done, learning job skills. I tell my family and they're like, they're teaching construction. I never had none of that, you know what I mean, when I was growing up. So I'm very proud of that. They taught me so much. For example, let's say like, if there was a Wally right there in the ground, and and if it was me, I would just go through it and, you know, dig through it and there's money. I'll take the money and leave the wallet there. But Cloud and Fire just taught me, like, you know, what, what doesn't belong to you is not yours, so give it back. Okay, so now I my teacher and staff tells me that um, I got leadership skills. And, you know, I told them that I don't really want those leadership skills because yeah, it's a lot of, you know, responsibility. So I was just like, oh, no, I don't want those skills. But um, actually, I've been growing up on them a lot, so... Clown is just, you know, helping me out how to be a better man. In my whole, my whole time I was born, I don't know everything I'll do for like framing or none of that stuff. I only see it on the streets, but I'll never be like, I'll never be one of those guys. And look at now. I'm a better person. I'm better than, than um, doing drugs. I'm better than just going rob people. I'm better living not that gang style of life. I'm better off, you know, being the person that I, was, I wanted to be, you know, that person that wanted to succeed. It's a good change. I like this change. <laughs>